In prior videos, we talked about visual weight and how mathematically perfectly centered things don't always look perfectly centered. I want to show you something else that you need to understand about relative size. Um, before we leave this, these are layers. Each one of these rectangles is on its, its own layer, and this is visibility. I can turn that item off. I can lock it so that I can't select it. I can't do anything to it. So skills you need to understand, you know, about visibility and locking and unlocking things, um, important stuff. Now I can make these invisible and, you know, work on a new layer, or I could open a new document. And we can't hit Command N or Control N because that'll open up a new Chrome window. Um, it's Option, File, New Design, Option, or Alt N gives you a new project. So I'm going to just hold Alt N because I want to learn how to use the shortcuts, just like you want to learn how to use the shortcuts. And look at this, grab it, remembers. My last one was 1920 by 1080. Cool. I want that again. I want to work. Here. Um, and I want to choose that rectangle tool one more time. And this time, I haven't practiced this. In Illustrator, if I click, I get a dialog box. I didn't get a dialog box. Too bad. Um, and that lets me pick what size rectangle I want. I actually lost my rectangle tool. So you got to click and drag. And this is a rectangle. If I hold Shift, this is a square, perfect square. I want something that's 600 pixels on a side. And I look here, <coughs> and my size is 608 pixels. Now, does this have locking? If I click that, that locks the height and width. So if I change one to 600 and hit tab, the other one changes to 600. So bonus. And I want to go ahead and center this um, vertically. I continually get horizontally and vertically alignment backwards. So if you're watching the videos and going, Scotchco, you're saying that wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I do that. And then I want to drag out a perfect copy of this. So I'm going to hold down Option because I want to circle the exact same size with a 600 uh, pixel diameter. Uh, so I'm just going to hold down Option now, why am I holding down Option? And then if I hold down Shift, it constrains this to 45 degree angles or, you know, 90 or 180, you know, perfectly one against the other, one side or the other. I'm going to select both those. I'm going to group them and center those. And then I'm going to ungroup them. And if you don't know how I'm doing this, watch the prior video. And I want to turn this into a circle. Now, it, I just, I'm doing it this way because I wanted to show you something. You can make rounded rectangles. You can round off these corners. In Illustrator, uh, <coughs> it's called Live Corners. Um, I don't know what Gravit calls it, but the control is right here. If I hold down so we can zoom in. See that right there? And um, when we click on this, that's not it. Where the heck was that? Is it? It's not it. Okay, bummer. I don't want to make this over because I want you guys to see this. Oh, it's up here. Corner. Jeez. See, I'm a bonehead. I'm learning this right along with you. I don't want to practice. I want to make mistakes just like you're going to make mistakes. Although some of you are probably saying, Scotchco, under appearance, it says corner right there. So if I change, if I click on this, see, it looks the same as that. <laughs> if I click on that, uh, you get to pick what kind of corners they are. And if we zoom in, that's a rounded corner. You can see we have other choices there, and I'll let you play around with that. And do you want them uniform? Do you want them auto-scaled? You know, play around with that. What does that do? But if I take this, now you can see you make a little rounded rectangle. What if you round it all the way? That is 600 pixels by 600 pixels. It's a perfect circle. Now look at that. Which is bigger, the square or the circle? Well, mathematically, they're exactly the same size. Doesn't the square look bigger than the circle? There's a reason for that. And if you don't see it, you will, because I'm going to show you something in the next video that I see 
almost every day when I play my current favorite game. 